All right, so in a previous video, I detailed how to make a timeline using geom line. However, some complications can occur with that method if you try to include multiple years in your timeline. So I want to explain how you can avoid those issues. And this starts with analyzing how we organized our data. So if we configure our spreadsheet to have one column for month, as you see here, one column for your tracked data, in this case, we're looking at precipitation, and one column for year, you may run into this issue when plotting. And this isn't to say you did a poor job organizing your data, but to plot in R, there might be some necessary changes and adjustments that need to be made. So if you had your data or have your data like this, you might find yourself spitting out a plot that looks like this. You have two years listed on the chart or more, but you can't distinguish one year's data from the next because ggplot just assumes it's all connected as if your points were in one year's worth of data. So that's the issue. How can we separate uh, 2018 from 2019? Well, that's what I'm going to show you. And this whole entire section, yes, it's a lot, is what we're going to be working through today. So using ggplot, you need to call on your data. In this case, we're calling it precipitation or precip. And the aesthetics being what's on the graph is x equals month. And that's across the x axis. And group equals one. And if you want to know why we need to use that, I'll link the previous video in the description. It'll detail why group equals one is necessary. So that's what we need to start our ggplot. Now, because we're using two different years worth of data, we need to do two separate geome lines. Why is that? Well, let's look at the proper way to configure your data sheet. In here, I have a month on one column. I have 2018 written as text so it doesn't think it's a number. And the precipitation for 2018. And then I have 2019. See, they're in their own individual columns, whereas the one that caused this issue put years in one long column as its own variable. We want to make the years their own separate columns and with the data that we're using, precipitation, below them. Hence why we need two geom lines in our ggplot, one for 2018 and one for 2019. Now, again, we don't need to distinguish that we're using the precipitation data because we've done that already up above. So once we add this next line to ggplot, geome line, the aesthetic gives us a y-axis being 2018. So we're using the precipitation values from 2018. And then again, on the bottom line, the line below it, geome line, 2019. Same, same exact text, you're just switching the year, therefore calling on the different column of data. Now here's the important factor. You need to use color within the aesthetic. This will configure your legend for you. So by using color in our aesthetic, we will configure the legend. Now, because 2018 as a word is not appealing to the eye, and we want it to be numeric, or at least appear as the date, I put in quotes 2018. And as you can see on the plot, I did that above as well. You have 2018, I did again for 2019, and that's gonna then be followed up by a line size of one. You can make the line thicker, thinner, etc. So we've configured our two separate lines for our two separate dates. If you have more dates that you need to add, you will need to add additional lines as such. Now, to be able to distinguish these lines from each other, we need to use scale color manual. So this means we manually choose our color. Scale color manual, the values equals C, 
and then in parentheses, we're calling now on the colors that we distinguished in the prior two lines under genome line. So, quote, 2018 equals, and this will be the color it appears as, dark red, comma, quote, 2019 will equal steel blue. You need to have those in quotations, otherwise you will not call on 2018 or 2019, and you will not have dark red or steel blue as your colors, or any color of choice for that matter. Now, we don't need geom point necessarily, but it's good to have points on our plot so we can see where the data actually lies. So as with our geom line, we need two separate geom point lines for each year. Hence, geom point 2018 and geom point 2019. To get rid of the background grid, we're using theme classic. And then to remove the <clears throat> to remove the x axis text, you do axis title x equals element blank. And then we want our legend label to be year and our y label to be precipitation in millimeters. Once we run all of that, this is the plot you will have. Precipitation in millimeters. We don't have month on the x-axis because we can determine that based on the way it's set up. Our lines have their designated thickness to them. Our 2019 is steel blue. Our 2018 line is dark red. Our points are configured on those lines at size 2. And then if you want to save that, you would do gg save, file, choose your path to the folder you want it to be, and then give it a name. So I hope this clears up any confusions that might have been uh, brought up from the previous video I made on making a line graph. This should allow you to move forward with multiple lines on the same graph to create a complex timeline, if that is what you're looking to do. Uh, please consider subscribing and perhaps like the video. Leave some comments if you have any questions.